Okay. Hey guys, it's Phantom, and welcome or welcome back to my channel for another video. <clears throat> so, the reason why I'm filming this video today is to talk about the EA Creator Network and um, kind of misconceptions about it. So, for anyone that doesn't know, oh, also, I have a. Also, I will edit some stuff in um, post-production when I'm editing, so don't worry. Anyway, um, so I'm here to film this video today because there's a lot of misconceptions about the, um, you know, how the Creator Network works, and, like, there's, there's a lot of misconceptions. Um, so... I'm also filming this video on behalf of the people out there that think that content creators like myself get free stuff because of, you know, get, get free stuff because there are either people in the creator network or we've gotten accepted. I'm just... I'm just saying this for like any of the people in the creator network in general um that is not how the creator network works um we don't okay i'm i'm saying this on behalf of all creators out there not just me um to the people that think that content creators just because you're in the creator network uh formerly known as the um EA Partner Program, you know, ju just because you're in the Creator Network, formerly known as the EA Partner Program, doesn't mean that you get packs for free. Now, let me tell you, let me, let me tell you how this works, okay? So, first of all, how this works, again, I will edit a few things in if I need to. But let me tell you how the EA Creator Network works for those of you that literally think that we get free, think that we get free stuff if we're accepted. Um, we do not get free stuff. We have to buy our packs. We have to buy... Con content creators don't get free. Content creators don't get free stuff, okay? L let me just tell you that. Let me, let me tell you that. Um, content creators, the people that are in this network specifically, do not get their packs for free. Now, let me tell you how this works. So, um, so let me tell you how this works for those of you that literally think that we get, that we get free stuff. Um, we don't. We don't get free stuff. Okay, so let me tell you how this works. Okay, so here I am on the EA Creator Network site. Um, so let me tell you how this works. Let me tell you how this works, okay? You have to sign up. You have to sign up for this, all right? You have to request to join. You have to request to join this, all right? Okay, so let me tell you how this works. It says... Welcome to the EA Creator Network. Um, introducing our new home for creators, we have leveled up and now have even more fun, original, and exclusive opportunities for content creators of every description. So you have to request to join this network, okay? You don't get you don't get free you don't get free stuff. All right, let me tell you how this works. All right, so. I have, I follow a lot of creators that are in the creator network, um, either from, you know, what it was previously known as, um, or whatever, or what have you. But, yeah, you cannot, you do not get free stuff okay you don't get free you don't get free stuff for joining this network okay let me tell you how this works so there's 
so you have to request to join um you might not get accepted in fact i requested to join the creator network um i'm still pending by the way i may not even get accepted um like you basically have to um you know request to join fill out you know you have to like fill out stuff um put what game you put what game you focus on and if people like if the people over at if the people if the people over at yay have creators like either if they need you to um review packs or like review packs before they are released um then you do then they do that they have to film content people in the creator network have to film content for like packs that aren't even out yet um or they might have some creators build packs for them or like you know building packs them but that doesn't mean just because they're reviewing just because they're reviewing something in a timely manner or building for the people that work in the that people the people that work on the sims team it doesn't mean they get free things it doesn't mean they get free things now they might get perks for like let's say uh, EA Play, if that's going on, like, if it's not cancelled, um, or they might get opportunities to go to Sims Camp, or something like that. Like, they might get those types of opportunities, or VidCon opportunities, but it doesn't mean that creators get free things. They film the content. They need to film in, in a timely manner. Okay, basically, how the code thing works. Okay, so EA might send out EA might send out codes to creators for giveaways specifically, which you know typically it's how giveaways work. Um, you know, you follow the rules of the giveaway. You enter the giveaway, and you might. win the giveaway and they send you codes for the packs if you won the specific giveaway but usually in the timely manner that the content is filmed and uploaded to said youtube channels um then they then people lose access to the code because it is not final software and it says it's not final software. Um, these creators also do not get paid for um, the content that is being sponsored. Um, but no, creators do not get free. Creators do not get free things like packs, kits, um, you know, packs kits or anything like that just for joining this network that's not how this works um basically they film the content that needs to be filmed um then once the pack is completed um once the pack is completed um they lose early access because you know they've filmed they film the content in a timely manner they've done what they had to do um, they posted what needed to be posted, and so on. And then the pack gets done, the pack gets done, and then it gets released to the public, which people then buy, which these creators then have to buy at full price if they want the pack. 
Um, you don't, you know, you don't get discounts if you're in this network. Um, that is not how the EA Creator Network works. Again, you have to request to join this network. Um, you have to request to join. Hopefully, you do get accepted. It's a very, it's a very lengthy process. Um, and I think they will email you. Um, they will email you if you get accepted or not. But for the time being, for most people, their request is pending. Which is fine. But anyway, I hope that explained how the EA Creator Network worked. And also, for my sanity, I have blocked out certain comments that refer to, like, getting free packs, free whatever, like, free anything. Um, because, again, that is not how, that is not how any of this works. If creators want the packs, they have to buy them. If creators want the packs, they have to buy them at full price or on discount. Um, you don't really get free things when it comes to this game. But I will talk about I will talk about games that are on Origin that you can that you can get for free, but it is but it is not um, it is not The Sims. <laughs> Sorry. It is not The Sims at all. So, let's... I, yeah, I will talk about games that... Um, Origin does have for free. Um that Origin does have for free. Um, so. So there are very few, there are very few, um, there are very few games that Origin has for free, um, one being Apex Legends, the, um, the base game is free and then you just get like all the other things by paying for them. Yeah, there's like very few things on Origin that you can get for free, but again, Sims is not one of them. If you want The Sims, you have to pay for it. Because um, if you didn't know, YouTube has this rule against um, showing people how to get free stuff. So, yeah. But yeah, so as you can see, if I go to, what is it, my game library, I think. <coughs> um, well, wait, where do you, where do you go to see your achievements again? Because I can't remember how that works. Um, wait, where do you go? Do you see your achievements? Uh, 
Okay, so we have full wish list. Okay, so don't mind don't mind how wonky my origin was. Um so my wish list has been updated. Um my wish list has been updated. And again, I will take if I ever get said packs, I will take these off of my wish list. So, um and I and for those wondering why you might need the disc and code for the Sims 4, I will touch on that as well. Um so here is my updated wish list. Um Again, if I ever get these packs, I will take these packs off of the wish list because um, I would already have them anyway. So, um, now let's talk about. Okay. Again, I will just scroll through my wish list here. <clears throat> my wish list has been updated, which I will take the packs off of my wish list if I ever decide to get them. Anyway, let's turn this off. And let's talk about touch on how the, um, let's touch on how the disc code whole game thing works. Let, let's touch on that, because there's a lot of people confused, especially people in my comments that are confused about that. Um, I would say, yes, you do need the, um, disc you do need the um, disc version of the game with the code um, for reasons such as, let's say, let's say something happens. Let's say something happens. You, um, let's say something happens. Let's say you were trying to install your game or reinstall your game and you couldn't do that via the um, via origin. You can't um, you can't put the code in twice. Now um, you can't put the code in twice on origin, but you can um, uninstall and reinstall the game as much as you want if you install it on disk. So let me tell you how that works. It's kind of similar if you have a pack on disk that you installed on disk. Like, let's say Sims 3, for example. Um, let's say you have, like, a Sims 3 pack and you install it via um, disk drive um, and whatnot. Or, like, you need to uninstall or reinstall The Sims 2 or something like that. Um, there's a whole other way to install older games, but I will touch on that. In another video for another time but yeah let's say something happened and you needed to uninstall or reinstall the sims 4 and you couldn't um and let's say origin is down um so that that is why you would need the disk version with the code and if let's say let's say you lost the code for example let's say you lose the code for example but you already have um, the game, say you lose the code, for example, but you already have the game, um, so, you go to game properties, um, you, you would copy the CD key into, like, <coughs> or maybe, like, write it on a piece of paper, or something, um, like 
write it on a piece of paper so that you have it, like let's say you lose the code for any reason. If you already have the game installed or have it in your game library, um, then you would just write the code down um, so that if you need to reinstall it um, on disk, then you would have the code and you would just, you know, type it into the little box. Um, type it into the little code box um, and stuff like that and that should that should solve your problem um, for anyone who's lost the code and already has it in their game library and needs to re reinstall it for any reason that should solve your problem and if you're wondering all codes all the codes are different so one code might not work for one code may not work for one person, um, or one code may not work for everybody, because all the codes are different. Um, anyway, I hope this video answered all your questions um, about the EA Partner Program or Creator Network, whatever, Marvel. I will refer to the EA Creator Network as either or because I was around when it was still known as the EA Partner Program. <laughs> or I was still very active on YouTube when it was still known as the EA Partner Program. Um, so anyway, I hope this video answered all your questions. Um, and yeah, I will see you all in the next video and hopefully I will be able to film a let's play part today or maybe tomorrow I don't know when my Oregon kind of isn't working properly so I probably I mean I may be able to play my games and film content but I won't have access to like certain things like the download or something like that but anyway hope this video answered your questions and i'll see you all in the next one bye guys